Philippe Stark, Million Dollar Designer and his Microsoft Mouse. I came across this mouse while searching on eBay for the perfect addition to my Windows XP gaming setup. This mouse caught my attention. With its unique teardrop design, full silver outer shell that looked like a UFO from the 1950s, one thin light up strip of orange running throughout the body. It's a thin build with a simple scroll wheel. It matches my setup and for only $15 for open box condition, this could work. Made by Microsoft. Well, it doesn't look like it. Bill Gates is not known for his attempts to step outside the box when it comes to design, rather marketing products to the masses more so than the discerning consumer. I see it was designed by someone named Stark. Well, who is Stark? And how did this get made? Philippe Stark. I had never heard of this designer before. After a preliminary search, I discovered he is a French designer who has been very prolific in his lifetime. His designs are featured in multiple museums across America and in Europe, including Paris, New York, and London. More than 600 designs were inventoried in French public collections in 2011. Designing everything from chairs, dinner tables, eyewear, restaurants, motorcycles, and boats. And I don't mean just boats. I mean mega yachts. Some of the largest and most expensive mega yachts of all time. For some of the most wealthy and famous people of all time. Steve Jobs. Stark was born on January 18, 1949 in Paris. His father, André Stark, was an aeronautical engineer. His father often inspired him because he was an engineer. His family was originally from and lived in the Alsace region before his grandfather moved to Paris. He studied design in Paris. Stark started to show signs of an unusual eye for design from an early age. He played in his father's large workshop, filled with machinery. Stark's version of playtime was dismantling the equipment and putting it back together in his own way. It was an inclination that would shape the rest of his life. Stark, born to a well-off family that provided for him, had a hard time fitting in. He was a loner in school, unable to get along with his peers. He avoided going to school altogether whenever he could. I was completely unable to adapt to society and school. I spent my youth escaping. Things did not get better for him quickly. He showed signs of depression as he grew older, he still felt like an outcast. But by the time he graduated, he was considered by everyone who saw his work to be a promising new talent on the design scene. Typically for Stark, he wished he would have worked on something cutting edge, so he started a company in 1968 that specialized in designing inflatable furniture. This company did not go very far, however, but it succeeded in getting his initial ideas into the world. Stark's eye was very natural. He liked lines in his furniture that were natural and smooth. There were other designs of the time who had a similar taste, but Stark's talent was beginning to shine. Some of the big names in design were beginning to take notice. He secured an apprenticeship for Pierre Cardin in 1969. Working with Cardin's extravagant, frivolous design made Stark see what he did not want to do. Cardin's style was a turnoff for Stark and made him more determined than ever to put more simple lines into the world. By the late 70s, Stark felt his career was not moving as fast as he wanted it to. He started his own company in 1979, calling it Stark Products. Through the 80s, Stark built on his reputation as the rock star of the design world. Both he and his designs were everywhere. He offered interviews to the mainstream press, which was unheard of at the time, and focused on selling himself as the people's designer. Stark entered the big time when he broke into the Western mainstream with a deal that partnered his company with the Target line of stores. Target wanted him to do a lineup of home accessories exclusively for their store. Good design can and should be part of everyday life. I'm always looking for magic in reality. But in the midst of his enthusiasm, he also claims to be depressed most of the time. He still struggles with the insecurities that made him a recluse as a child. His worldview is more sophisticated now, but 
In the end, Stark has clearly embraced nihilism, he told his Frankfurt audience. All the things that we hold true, such as the moon, the sun, and the stars, do not exist. Nothing exists. I am afraid, like everyone else. Steve Jobs' yacht, Venus, set sail a year after Jobs' death in 2012. Costing $125 million upon completion, it measures 260 feet long, featuring 10-foot tall windows. Sleek and elegant, a minimalistic approach compared to other mega yachts. Steve and I shared the same idea about the elegance of the minimal, the elegance of work well done, Stark said. But back in 2004, Stark was designing fossil watches, eyeglasses, and furniture. Maybe in an effort to make Microsoft a little cooler, or to compete with the elegant designs coming from the mind of Steve Jobs during that time, Gates reached out to Mr. Stark to create this. I'm not sure how successful it was or how many were sold. Only a couple can currently be found on eBay or other online platforms. But I don't think that was the goal for Microsoft. Regardless of sales, it was ahead of its time and a breath of fresh air for its design and function. Taking notes from the Apple mouse, the mouse buttons run the entire length of the unit, reducing strain. A lighted mouse was also very rare at the time. It's a fully optical mouse with a comfortable in-hand design, futuristic and attractive as a standalone piece next to your keyboard and monitor. People are doing such amazing things with their computers, however, too often the importance of the link between man and machine is underestimated, Stark said. The PC and what we use it for is an extension of us. It defines us just as much as the clothes we wear or the music we listen to. With this in mind, I set out to design an artistic bridge that would help people connect with the technology they use every day. The result is modern and refreshingly simple, and will transform the mouse into a badge item that makes a statement about your taste and personality. It won 2004 International Brand Package Gold Medal Award in Breakthrough Structural Package Design and Graphic Format. I personally like the way it feels in hand. I use a fingertip or claw grip, and this suits both styles very well. It has a fairly thin body, it's lightweight and has clicky buttons. I plan on keeping this and using it every day for my current Windows XP setup. The LED lights still work very well and makes this very special for its time. I'm happy to have a piece of history and to learn more about this great designer who is still very productive today. In fact, his latest project is to design the interiors for the habitation module on the Axiom space station. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe so I can make more content like this.